Easily one of the most frustrating things about studying nutrition is how much contradicting information is out there. And I get it, our bodies are incredibly complex walking chemical labs, composed of 37.2 trillion cells, with an average of 37,000 billion billion simultaneous chemical reactions going on at any given moment. That's 27 zeros. And then if you take into account variables like diet, lifestyle, genetics, environment, sleep, etc., what works for one person could be catastrophic for another. But we humans, we're tribal creatures. We don't want to hear that nonsense. Especially since in 2018, starting a diet is more like joining a cult. Now that's where the real fun is. Yeah, no. Some of my videos are going to be nutrition based on at least the less controversial topics to help you create your own healthy lifestyle without necessarily subscribing to a specific diet. So today, we're going to be focused on the glycemic index and why this is honestly super important for everyone, fit or not. This is Shane and you're watching Functional Fitness. Yes. So the glycemic index is just an index that measures how fast carbs become sugar in the bloodstream or how fast food raises your blood sugar levels. The standardized index going from 0 to 100, 100 being pure glucose and anything scoring 70 or higher would be considered high glycemic, 56 through 69 is medium and 55 or less is low. And the reason why this is so important is because despite what big food companies want you to believe, a calorie isn't just a calorie. 500 calories of whole foods and 500 calories of pop tarts will have vastly different effects on your hormones and consequently your health, mood, and weight. See, in response to blood sugar rising, your pancreas creates insulin, a crucial hormone commonly described as the key that allows glucose to enter cells to be used for energy. Now, there's nothing wrong with insulin itself. It's a super important hormone. The problem comes when you constantly spike your insulin super high with processed carbs and sugars that your pancreas can barely keep up with. Doing that throughout the day, especially if you're not exercising, because that means there's still glucose in your cells that's not being used. And it's important to note that insulin, this energy or fat storage hormone, well, you can think of it like it's on a seesaw in its relationship with glucagon, which is the fat burning hormone. If insulin is high, glucagon's going to be low. If glucagon's high, insulin has to be low first. So if you're constantly jacking up your insulin with processed foods, and yeah, that includes foods you might think are healthy, like juice, for example, metabolically and hormonally, it's gonna affect you about the same as drinking a soda because you're just getting that concentrated fructose from a lot more fruits than you would normally just eat in one sitting and without the fiber. So yeah, you best believe your insulin is taking a trip. And again, if you're always spiking your insulin, you're always telling your body to store energy. And when there's no room to store that energy, now sure, at first that key analogy works out great for insulin, but over time, it gets to the point where it's knocking on that cell door and the cell's going, dude, occupy, I've got glucose for days in here, man. Your pancreas works over time creating more insulin to get that glucose somewhere before your blood sugar levels become toxic. Usually that's gonna mean storing fat. So the problem is people who are insulin resistant, their body, their cells need a lot more insulin to even respond to those signals because they've just had, because it's so constant. And the saddest part about this is these people can be struggling with obesity, start trying to eat a healthier diet, and their cells no longer respond to healthy amounts of insulin. So that energy is in their bodies, but they're still metabolically starving. They're hungry because that energy isn't even getting into their cells. So there's a lot of hunger cravings and other issues that come with insulin resistance. That's where we see all the terrible health conditions that are killing people on the Western diet today. Heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, literally most of the top 10 leading causes of preventable death in the United States are largely related to this issue. Insulin resistance and obesity, which is caused by this diet and lifestyle of constantly spiking our blood sugar and not using that energy. But this was meant to be just a quick little video. I'm trying to make more shorter bite-sized content. So 
We'll continue this in the future. Nutrition, fitness, ninja moves, all that good stuff. There will be three videos this month, and we'll see if I can keep that up. But I've got a lot to catch you guys up on, so some good news, some hard news. Let me just say, we got a couple of free play fitness passes. The all-in-one fitness pass app that gets you into pretty much anything you want in Utah. It's crazy. So now, anything you want to learn about or see us try and train in, it can happen. Also, it was so cool to see the responses people had to my last video, all the positive comments. Uh, the new subscribers, basically my channel doubled. I mean, I know it's <laughs> it's still pretty small, but it means a lot to me. So, as promised, um, I'm working on that Naruto <laughs> chasing. So if public humiliation is a good subscriber special, I've got you covered. But again, I will update you on all that in the next video. See you soon. Sticks the landing. <laughs> we warriors ready. Unite. <laughs>